And artificial intelligence, by definition, is really trying to make machines more intelligent. How can you make them think, act, reason, um, do tasks that humans would typically do? Um, the reason why we do this is because computers are very good at doing um, math very fast, and they're also very good at doing repetitive tasks. Um, so as a human, you probably get bored doing something over and over and over again by computer really doesn't matter. Um, so taking advantage of the strengths of the, of the computers and making them do these tasks more efficiently, faster, in a repetitive way, is really why we do um, artificial intelligence. Machine learning, which is a subset of artificial intelligence, uh, pretty much is thinking through building the mathematical modeling that makes um, these tasks possible. So for example, um, you would be given a data set um, and there's a task at hand. So let's say you want to predict whether or not it would rain tomorrow. And you can imagine why that is necessary, right? The weather foreman would probably want to be able to tell you that it's going to be sunny or it's going to be rainy or it's going to be snowing. We're in Boston. You want to know that ahead of time. And so typically you would look at data that has been collected historically over the years. And then the you would build a mathematical model that you train on this data and then you're able to predict um, on a day that you've not seen whether or not um, it would rain or it would be snowing or it would be sunny. So that's an example of what machine learning can do. One of the foundations of machine learning is the data sets that it uses. There's this term we call garbage in, garbage out. And so if you give a model um, garbage, it will um, spit out garbage. Um, and while that may not seem much of a problem, if you're just maybe forecasting the weather, um, it is a problem because machine learning is becoming more and more pervasive in our society. It's being used to do a lot more um, than it's been done in the past. So for example, machine learning is used in the criminal justice system, being able to decide whether or not someone will commit a crime um, given their history. Or uh, machine learning is used in the banking industry when they want to decide whether or not to give someone a loan given their history as well. And so because these algorithms are becoming more pervasive in our lives, it's really important that we think very carefully about the data that has been used to train them and making sure they're balanced making sure they're unbiased. And, and that way we can, in some way, it doesn't solve all the problems, but it goes a long way to make sure that we have algorithmic, algorithmic fairness um, and we can make better decisions.